Hello, and welcome to the Hang on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> if you only knew. Oh my God. The machinations the drama are getting here. To be able to sit down. I said to Mark, we oh. need to go to a flaming studio. We need to go to a therapist. Yeah. Absolute but anyway, disaster. Welcome to How to Stay Married So Far. We just had quite a little bit of drama trying to get set up. Well, you but, did. Uh, but also, we had some drama this morning discussing what we were going to talk about because how 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 many podcasts have we done in a row now on different variations of sex? I think this might well this would be our fourth. Right. So we were saying, oh, oh God, we shouldn't really do sex for the fourth time. And then we said, but you guys are loving all these sex talks so much, you load of weirdo pervies. Um, so and and because it was such a good article today, we thought. Fuck it, let's just do sex four weeks running. I'm more than happy to do <laughs> sex more than four weeks running. So Mark found this article. Four hours running. Anyway, no, we have a WhatsApp group called Podcast Ideas, but it should oh. just be called Sex Ideas. Yeah. Maybe we should just make this a sex podcast. <sighs> I'm already getting aroused. Oh, God. OK, let's not. OK, so this is an article that was in The Times, um, and it's a very simple headline, which I quite like. How to have... <laughs> a better sex life in 2024. Because, of course, having a better sex life this year is going to be different to having a better sex life in 2023. 2023. Or next year. Well, there's new phases and fashions. Absolutely. I mean, we did pegging last week, for God's sake. Was we that around in 23? We did not do pegging. We did a podcast about oh, pegging. Oh, sorry. Despite you wanting to suggest all the way through it that I was up for a bit of pegging. Mark, stop it. I had messages from Don't dear, dear followers and friends saying, like oh, thank God we're watching this. I said, please avoid the pegging one. And they said, no, 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 we're really looking forward to it. I think it happens more than you think. <coughs> right. Sorry, um, clear so, on so, um, so yeah, yeah, anyway, so the nature of this article, this is an article in which two fitness experts um, essentially share... Some of the exercises, some of the activities or things you could do physically. And don't switch off. Because I was when Mark gave me the headline on this, I was like, oh, God, that sounds boring. But actually, I think it's quite I think, fascinating. Why does it sound boring? Exercise. Because exercises. What can you do physically? A lot of people physically? don't want to hear anything about exercise. Well, I'll tell you what. If you, if you listen to this podcast and you enact any of these suggestions, you will be getting a boner like there's no tomorrow. You don't know you... that. I've got the boner information. You've got the vagina information. Well, it's, so don't lie, because well, you don't know what the mine The weird says. thing is, is that even your vagina might have a boner by the oh. end of this. Well, because, Mark, we've separated Happy this with into... your light scenario here. Yeah? Oh, God. Honestly, guys, it was like something out of the Phantom of the Opera. You could not see the right-hand side of my face at all. I was in pitch darkness. Mm. So now I've got this blinding daylight light now, and it's hurting my eyeballs. So what I thought would be fun was this article... You can always watch this on YouTube if you're listening on podcast. Yeah. This article <laughs> chops up into two halves. Obviously, recommendations and exercises or suggestions, physical suggestions for women, and then the same for men. And so what we thought we'd do, which is quite fun, maybe, I hate fun, um, is... It's overrated. Is, it's so overrated, unless... Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, we thought we'd read the opposite sex's suggestions. And I haven't got a clue what the f female one is. I haven't is. got a clue what the male one is. Well, I, I was actually ooing and ahhing. Sexually? No, just like fascinatingly. Oh. Fascinatedly? Mm. Well, I was, I was, yeah, I was sighing and breathing heavily whilst reading So, my... you start then. OK, so <laughs> the funny thing about all of this is, is that so many of the things that dear, dear Nadia has been trying to get me to do for so many years um, I'm sort of slowly hang on, arriving at. Hang on, but not for sex. Yes. No. No, no, no. But make not that for clear. Sex. Sorry. No things that Nadia's been trying health. to get me to do for my health, for my mind, for my mental health, for his soul, for, for my soul. There's for... no connection with his soul no. and his body. No, I have. Yeah, I barely have a connection with the soles of my shoes because they've come <laughs> off my running shoes. <laughs> Bless him. Let's keep your pair. I've got. I've shoes. ordered some. They should have been. In fact, they might have been them at the door just then. Um, so anyway, some of the things that have cropped up as, a, as great exercises for women to improve your sex life, uh, they all pivot around all these things that you've been suggesting to me for years. So the first thing that um, is suggested here is focus on your breathing. Oh. Uh, focusing on your breathing helps you stay in the moment. And uh, they talk about, she talks about intentional breathing. Mm. The kind required for yoga can also work for your sex life. Um, some women hold their breath and tense up during arousal to speed the path of orgasm. Doesn't but, everyone do that? But breathwork practitioners suggest that breathing deeply throughout sex carries more oxygen around the body and will lead to a deeper orgasm. 
So this is the idea of, let's right, talk, Can I just ask you What does thing? that mean, I've hold breath? I've just realised. Yes. I have no idea how another woman has an orgasm because whenever I've seen an orgasm on a film or in a drama or something, I've never believed it. Right. But maybe that's because I don't have an orgasm in that way. And how, how have you seen it? What were you meaning when you say? When they go, ah, ah, and that whenever I'm in a hotel room, that's all I hear. And I've suddenly thought, <clears throat> but now you've said that, maybe that's because I hold my breath. <laughs> Not only do you hold your breath. No, wait. And give me a sign before you say it of what you're thinking of saying. Mm. Uh, uh, away from the camera. <laughs> what were you going to say? Before well, you give away things like this. I'm not like going to give away anything. It's a well, very are, because you sweet said not detail. only that, you also... No, I don't want sweet details. I don't like sweet details. Why not? We're not talking about me. No. Tell well, me. Well, we are, because you said you hold your breath. No. So, why, OK. No. How do you differentiate yourself? Why, why do you... Obviously, you do things differently. I mean, I know, because I'm sometimes there. Don't be disgusting. I'll turn that the camera off. That wasn't disgusting! If we're talking about sex, we have to acknowledge we have sex. I, uh, right, let's start this again. <laughs> Think of another person you've slept with, oh, right, God, right, that has an orgasm in a different way to me and explain it. What do they do? Well, it's very hard to explain it without not explaining So you no, hold your don't, breath. You don't need you hold your me for this. Te imagine you've never had sex with me. What was the last person that you slept with before me is orgasm like? I can't even remember who they were. Um, who was it? I it can't was. Even... It was very undulating. Oh my god! <laughs> undulating. In terms of sound, body. Oh my! Movement. Give me, a, give me a little bit of a clip, like I... what? How Please undulate. Dare Please you me ask a... me to undulate and I'm not even allowed to say no, you that you hold your breath. Mark, you are undulating for somebody else. You're asking me to give away my own personal I'm things. Gonna say I'm not saying it. Two We've words. got children. We've I'm gonna got say two newspapers words. Newspapers that would listen to this. I'm gonna say two words. If you say two words that involve my orgasms, you are going to be in trouble. I'm going to stop this podcast and I'm not going to say anything else. I've asked you to explain what the last You're person gonna get you me had to sex undulate. with orgasm was like. And you said there was undulation. What yes. do you mean? In their breath? In their body? In their breath? In their sound? Why are you writing notes? She's I'm writing... I'm writing undulation. She's writing... To just double check what it means, because I think it means this. Precisely. Oh, my God, they did the wave. Yeah, Mexican but, wave. But in every area. Oh, I don't believe. You're just Vo bigging up your I'm part. I'm not at all. Are you, voice, are you voice, kidding me? Voice, body. No. No. <laughs> no. I can't unsee it, Mark. I'm frightened. Oh, my God. I haven't even undulated the yet. The person that you had sex with before me undulated. I'm not going to talk about specifically well, the person right, before me. somebody you. before me undulated. So there's been undulating. There's been screaming. Oh, and well, that, about I that. I've talked about that. that I don't even include. That I don't even Screaming. There's been... At the point of orgasm, there's All right, been... All but we're not at the point, but... The... There's been a holding of breath and... Everything. Like they're going to explode? Yes. Oh, thank God I don't do that. I'm a bit worried I don't undulate, but I, at least I don't look like I'm going to explode. Itchy teeth? Itchy teeth? Right. OK. Um, Can you please give me the sound of an undulating, orgasming woman? No. Please. No. Mark, please, just try. No, because then you're going no, to you sob clip this. It's going to be all over social media. Mark. And you're not going to say a single thing about, about your itchy teeth how or about, your silent orgasm. Isn't it curious that you have you, totally right, silent right, orgasms? You've had a warning and I'm just about to turn the video off. The video? We don't do video <laughs> anymore, babe. That's an old-fashioned thing. And you're going to have to take that out. Take what? Anything that you know. <laughs> Listen. What? What about if I promise I won't clip you undulating? 
I know you'll I like it. I won't show it to I anyone. I know you'll absolutely like it. Mark, please. Undo okay, that. well, it was something along the lines of, oh, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Well, yeah, you didn't have kids in the house, did you? We can all undulate when there's no one else around. Yeah, undulate. Why are you leaning out a shot? You've got then, your light and, then, and you're leaning and out of your light. And then when they undulate with their body, are you trying to do like a mermaid sort of thing? No, depending on where you're at. I mean, do you want me to go into that detail? Mm -hmm. From behind, it can go all over the place. What What does? Them. They undulate from behind? They're, if I Yes, and then if they're on top, then it's just, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, they've and been performing. They're they've been performing! I'm not suggesting That's for a what minute. I mean. Oh, God, maybe it's something wrong with me. When I see any of this in movies and stuff, I always think, that why are they doing all that? <laughs> Anyway, breath work. What, so did, was it this? No, no, it was wasn't it this? that. No, it wasn't ah! that. Ah! Sometimes. Ah! A bit of that. Oh! I saw getting the ick with my own sex life. This is really strange. <laughs> They've got to be careful with that because that's how penises get fractured. We well, did that on Coffee Moaning Yeah, no, I've never done... I've never really... Oh, was it Coffee Moaning? No, we yeah, did it Yeah, the reverse cowboy. Very um, dangerous. So the you most can dangerous have a deep... sex position you can do so in case you, need you don't to watch Coffee Moaning. You need to open your mouth and you need to breathe more deeply. You need to <gasps> breathe more constantly and you mustn't hold your breath and stop at the point of orgasm. Apparently that is the... that You don't do that. You tense up. Really? Mm. What if I try it and it doesn't work and then I'm really annoyed? Have another go. Have another one. I mean, the thing I don't really understand about sex, it, when you're obviously having good sex, is why don't we do it all the time? I don't know. Why don't we just have more sex? Because when one enjoys it, one goes, why don't I do that all the time? I suppose tiredness, children, illness, Well, OK, dysmorphia. so finish, finishing off this first suggestion, because we're ten minutes in, I've undulated, Nadia's revealed absolutely nothing other than she makes no she noise. Must do and this is in two parts. And is barely in a room when she has an orgasm. She's not there. What um, do you mean? That's a horror thing to well, say no, barely to, I in said, the room. If we were to go with your description of what you've revealed, you're barely there. You just said I say nothing. Well, I don't do this, I don't do that, and I don't want anyone to know what I do do. So I'm saying, imagine she's not there. But what they do say in this final tip about breathing is yoga is crucial for helping. Nah. So breath work. Breath work will help you with your orgasms. So that's number one from, for, for women. Wow, God, I don't even know if we can carry on here. Why not? Because that was so extraordinary. Well, there you go. Um, Didn't expect to un undulate today, I have to confess. Really was quite amazing. Did you like my undulating? Loved it. What noise do men, men make? What noises have other men... I mean, because I don't... But they sort of grunt, don't they? I don't really grunt. I don't like the sound of guttural men. It comes, comes from terrible traumatic past, but I really don't like the sounds that men make. How do you know? What because men, I men heard make? too many when All I was right, younger. Stop! Stop! No, stop! No, not now. No, no, but that's my point. What noises do men make? They grunt. Is that all you've said? Is that all you, you're yeah. going to say? They do. They do grunt. Look at you pretending to look through your dossier like it's a dossier. <laughs> I'm looking through it's my not dossier. dossier. You do you know what I'm what actually what? doing? I'm what? thinking yours was so good. I've got to try and think of a better one. What do you mean it was so good? Well, it's just very good. It was interesting. Now I'm losing faith in my bits. Now you're pretending you've got a dossier. This Darling, is... I have got a dossier. Is oh, a dossier babe, a pile as soon as you have something is stapled. Is a dossier a pile of papers stapled together? Precisely. Right, well, I'm holding my dossier okay. and I'm looking at it. Yeah, show us your dossier. Which makes a change from you holding your dossier and looking at it no, or no, waving it no, about. I can't stop playing with mine. Come on. Right, so, um, would you like to push blood into your penis? <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And contract during an orgasm. Would I like to? Isn't mm. that what happens? Well, depends if you're doing your pelvic floor exercises. Mm. Because actually it's very important that men do their pelvic floor exercises as, as, as important as women. Mm. Because you will start to dribble in later life if mm. you don't. And also your, your um, pelvic floor... Play, plays a part in the strength of your orgasm, just like it does for a woman. OK, I'm doing so, it now. So, pelvic floor exercises, or kegels... K yeah, I've got kegels. Are what is, I thought it was a kegel. important, as these muscles, which push blood into the penis mm. and contract during orgasm, weaken with age. Right. So what do so, I need to do? Well, if you just shut up, I'll be able to... Sorry. i let you tell me. All right. Now you're, you're interrupting on every line. 
So as it is with women, you have to flex the muscles by mimicking. So you've got to imagine you need to go to the loo. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do to stop going to the loo? You contract your mm. pelvic floor muscles, right? And then you squeeze for five seconds. So you hold for five seconds. Okay, that's really hard. Hang on. Yeah, now you know. It's really hard to hold it. It gets really funny. To do 140 of those oh, it goes women. It's really on. strange. So these are all exercises, I must say, by uh, Craig Cooper. So I, I just had to give him that little um, thingy. So what Craig does, and this is quite good, he's got an app on his phone which reminds him to drink every hour. I so don't like the fact that you've personalised Craig. I didn't want to know a Craig in this. He's got an app on his phone which reminds him to drink water every hour. So he, he, he's, he puts that into action, but instead of drinking water every hour, or maybe he does as well, he does 15 to 20 Kegel exercises. Wow. So he's doing them all through the day. And that's not an exaggeration. Jane Wake, who's an absolutely brilliant pelvic floor um, expert, will tell you 120 to 150 a day. He must orgasm like a superhero. So, if you want to keep them strong, those orgasms, because they will weaken off. And if you want that blood pumping into your penis, do your pelvic floor exercises. I mean, what, what make, I suppose, this is a bit of a kind of existential question. What makes a male orgasm is... Blood pumping into it. No, no, no. Blood pumping into it is what makes it erect. But the moment of orgasm is just the, I hate to use this sort of language, is the spurt. Is that... Is that the, that's no, that is that's what it says here for a strong orgasm. You, it's a that's, strong it's because the penis has to fill with blood, and and if you're not doing your kegels. Oh, I see. So the more full, the more yeah. tender, and oh, okay. Yeah. Right, I've got you. Okay. Next. Okay, right. The next one here is weight training for women will give your hormones a boost. Uh, traditionally, uh, this this trainer, given that you've named yours as Craig, I'm going to name mine. Mine's Ruth. Mm. Ruth says. Traditionally in heterosexual sex, the woman is presented as the weaker passive person. Doing weights, you're stepping into a traditionally masculine domain, feeling strong can boost confidence. Bed. Now, this is a curious again, one. Back to pegging again. Now. It's a little bit about the pegging kind of, you know, the strong, masculinized kind of controlling, in control. I'm not necessarily into that. I don't want to be a sort of, what do they call them? Not a gimp, but I don't want to be a sort of, what are they called when you see someone being walked around on a leash? A gimp. No, no, a gimp is a... Sex slave? You know, when, yes, you know, that kind of thing, a sort of... Uh, no, Submissive? A, submissive, exactly. I'm not into that dominatrix thing. It's not great when someone walks in with a gun and a whip and a... Well, don't, we've moved, we've moved <laughs> no. very quickly from weight training to no. whips. No, no, but what, what, what they're talking about here is, is about that sort of... The, the, the simple optics on it are, and the physicality of it are, that there's something erotic about a woman being... More masculine, in no, a no, sense, no, 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 no. You are taking it from the position of the man. What we're saying, what no, she, that's what you she's, do when you're pegging. She's talking to women that might like that, and you've gone, oh well, I don't like that. But it's not about you. No, no, no. Women like to have that strength. Well, some women do. Yeah, some women like to be dominatrix. Yeah, and, and also some men do too. So that will ma a marriage made in heaven. There is yeah, because it okay. releases more testosterone. Right? Toffee. Sorry, that's our dog, and it sounds like someone's wanking in the background. They're it not. Does actually. <laughs> Sorry, if you were listening to this, you'd be thinking, who's that off shot? Um, <laughs> resistance training. This is interesting. Resistance training, oh no, look, listen to this, a 2018 study found that power and muscular strength were significant in relation to the number of sexual partners women had, but not men. Um, so the more muscular and powerful you were, the more male partners you're gonna have. Resistance training is also the best exercise for raising levels of testosterone in the woman, more often associated with uh, men than women. You talk about this a lot. It not only makes women want sex more, it boosts our energy levels. The number one libido killer for women is tiredness. Mm. And weight lifting and weight training and increasing your muscle sort mass. of mass is great for basically driving essentially the masculine hormone, right? Well, it's not just a masculine hormone, though, is it? This is the, this is where people have gone wrong, and it, yeah. you know, it's this brutal, brutal world that we live in. That somebody decided when women go on HRT, unless they can pay for it, they can't have any testosterone. So women are using their husband's testosterone cream because they can't get it, because we are all supposed to die at forty after we've produced all the babies, and we're not supposed to want sex if we live past forty. Is there testosterone in sperm? No. 
Just like that. Okay, so they're so, suggesting resistance training three times a week and holding a plank position for one to two minutes as part of every workout will help t uh, tighten the right muscles mm. in your lower abdomen, yeah. which means you'll have better sex. Yeah, so that's your pelvic floor again. Yeah, so exactly. So it's true. Yeah. Um, well, yes. I mean, like, absolutely, we should all be doing weight training. All of us, men and women, should be doing weight training. It does help to, to raise your testosterone. So mm. there you go. Um, and then we go over to the men's. Do press-ups to improve your testosterone levels. By the age of 70, 30% of men have low levels of testosterone. Good God. Mm -hmm. Do they say how many press-ups you need Which to do? Which can result in reduced libido and an inability to maintain an erection. I'm just going to go down. He's just doing... OK, you can do those while I'm... Uh, yeah, so, yeah. work the larger muscle groups, legs, back oh, and chest. Squats. With weights as heavy as you can lift safely. You can't just pick up a couple of five pound weights and do biceps curls. You've got to work your whole body. Craig does pull ups, oh, push ups, Craig. Craig and side planks. <laughs> but get up because you're going to start sweating. Oh my God. Right. Oh, okay. 15. So, like, Craig really does stress here <laughs> that you don't need to go. Oh my to God, look how red I am. You don't like just had sex. I do. And um, you don't need to go to the gym. Right. Uh, body weight exercise such as lunges and squats can be really effective, um, while press ups engage many of the same upper body muscles utilised in sex. They are the very best things you can do at home. Dr. Michael Mosley and his wife get up every morning, they go to each side of their beds and they do their press ups before they do anything else. Wow. Before they have sex? Before, well, I don't know about that. So, there you go, same thing. Um, okay, uh, the next one here from Ruth is, running ignites your endorphins. Improving any cardiovascular function can improve arousal in women. So any workout that increases heart rate, raises oxygen and blood flow can lead to better sex. I'm sorry, I'm so tired. See, the thing is, right, when I'm doing my weight training, my heart is absolutely pounding and I'm out of breath. Why is that not included as cardio? Well, uh doesn't cardio your heart break? Yeah, I mean some of the some of the some of the routines that I do with Joe, which are just weights based. He makes the point that if you're really pushing uh, really heavy weights, sort of really out of your comfort zone, a residual cardiovascular kicks in because your body is going into a, such yeah, but, a sort of uh, tense. If you're out of breath, right, and your heart rate is raised, that's cardio. Yeah, it can be. So I'm yeah, doing yeah. cardio. But okay. also, I, I have to say, I find I do find the whole exercise thing. Quite erotic. Well, wait, because don't because we're coming to that. Okay, um, I just want to finish that thought. Uh, she says, as a personal trainer, my clients reported that running gives them the biggest high from endorphins. Mm. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to do two in one here okay. because I want to <laughs> what? get so what this you is just a threesome. <laughs> this is so we're doing a bit of a threesome. So now this is something that I've never thought about. Right. Right. Okay. I'm excited. So good posture. Ooh. improves your sex life. Oh, um, I think that's here somewhere. A, a study um, uh, found, this is Harvard Business School, uh, reported that those that held high power poses, such as putting their feet up on a table or leaning their bodies forward over a desk for two minutes, experienced a rise in testosterone. Sorry, so, I do, what, so if I just do this... So feet up on now? the table, leaning their bodies, or feet up on the table. Well, sitting back like that. Yeah, with your feet up on the table, or leaning forward. This, again, is yoga, isn't it? For like that for two minutes. Oh, we'll moving raise, between the two? No, it says or. We'll raise your... Um, so this is basically saying sitting back with your feet up is good for your sex life. Listen. Yeah, this isn't like just do this and no exercise. This is other things. They do experience a rise in testosterone. While those who held low power poses, such as folding their arms, noticed a drop in their testosterone. Wow. Isn't that amazing? But if you think about it, if you're like this, yes. you're ready to go. <laughs> so your testosterone is pumping. Why do you think I'm always like that when you yes, come in? Yes, darling. Um, so if you stand tall, you could get a natural testosterone boost merely through the action of projecting confidence. Good. God. Isn't that amazing? Now, so big dick energy. 
Big dick energy, exactly. So a child's pose in yoga, which stretches stretches and lengthens the, lengthens the spine, is good for posture. Wow. So sit in your shins with your knees together, fold forward at the hips, and walk your hands out in front of you while keeping your f- hips as close to your feet as possible. You know the child's pose. Um, also, uh, Tai Chi focuses on posture um, and a study in 2011 on older men found a significant improvement in both testosterone levels, this is Tai Chi, and urinary tract symptoms wow. after just 12 weeks practicing Tai Chi. Remember Tai Chi is this? Yeah. But it's, it's more than just that. So just quickly to move body. on from that, because yeah. you said about the sex. So testosterone <laughs> naturally peaks in the morning and then it just... Does it? Throughout the day, yeah. Just flops. So research suggests that weight training may have a bigger effect on testosterone in the evening when you're perhaps more likely to have sex. Now, it's funny. Because on Love Island, when they suddenly told that they're going off on a date, they always jump off the bed and start pumping up and down doing... But, babe, I naturally like doing my workouts in the evening. And I thought, that's weird. Yeah, but, darling, you don't need any more testosterone. Why don't I need more? Because you've got enough. Um, So... So anything you can do in the later... These are people that aren't, like, having enough of a sex drive. So you can do it in the later hours because it will probably increase your testosterone, yeah. For the night, for the the evening ahead. 45 minutes of strength training three times a week. Now, Craig, or Greg, I can't remember his name now. Craig, we know all that Craig. sex after exercise is a good thing. You feel good. Yeah. Your hormones are running. Exercise of any kind with your partner, he adds, will ensure you're in in sync and enhance your sexual performance. He's been married, Craig, for 36 years and exercise is our couple's therapy. We train together every morning. Does that mean they train together in the morning and then they have to have sex afterwards? Can you imagine? When would they ever get the washing up done? They want to have sex. Did you have to have sex? Maybe they want to. Well, Ruth, is Ruth his wife? Because Ruth says, work out with your partner to boost your physical connection. She talks about the fact that the physiological effects of exercise are very similar to the effects of sexual arousal. And I have to agree. I find myself quite aroused by you when I'm done a workout or if we're walking back from the gym or something like that. Well, I wish you'd show that because if I'm honest, well, you're when I come out phone. high from the gym, no, I'm not. Stop this bloody constant line. Hang it's on. really annoying. You walk out I come gym. out and I say, so how do you feel from the gym? Mm, not much better. All right. Babe, it's usually like, oh, there's, a child, usually there's usually a child with us. Yeah, but you're buzzing in a non-sexual way. Now, I'm buzzing in a sexual that? way. If you met me with joy, I would be buzzing in a sexual oh, way. Oh, fantastic. OK, well, next time I do a run... Can you just be a bit high after the gym? Yeah. Oh, flipping heck. All right, anyway. It's not a lot to ask. So, um, and I do... I kind of like the kit as well, which is a which is a bit of a bit of a thing too. Um, I, we, this you always will... say that you hate me in leggings. I love you in leggings. Where the fuck has that come from? What, workout gear? Yes. Well, I didn't know that. What? You, you always say, oh, I hate, the, I hate the way you're dressed in gym gear. No, I don't. Mm. That's someone else, babe. Yeah. It's Craig. It's <laughs> someone else. It's not me. Do Kegels or Kegels or whatever they are three times a day to intensify your orgasm as a woman. Three times, that's not enough. She's not um, right. She says they, reg, regular, regular, regular boosts arousal. She then talks about specific poses in yoga. She says she particularly recommends the reclined butterfly pose, where you lie with your knees falling apart and the soles of your feet are together for, quite obviously, uh, hip flexibility reasons. Oh, I do a lot of that. I mean, I think a lack of hip flexibility as you get older with sex is a problem. I mean, you know, I can think of someone I had sex with years ago who, the first time we had sex, she had to keep her legs straight because it was a bit painful in her hips. Oh, God. Yeah. But listen... She didn't undulate. She couldn't, she couldn't undulate. She, she couldn't undulate. Um, um, and, but, sorry. but yoga comes up a lot, doesn't it, Mark? Yes, it and does. And you know why? Because of the blood flow to the genitals as well. And I tell you what, there's something about... Well, I won't say that. Um, 22 other yoga poses uh, in, a, in a study for the Journal of Sexual Medicine showed that the Trikonasana, or the triangle pose... And the oh, Ardha Matsi, so the Ardha Matsyendra, that's my Matsyendra, Mudra, the half spinal twist, mm. found that 75% of people who did these moves, all these poses, had an improvement in their sex life. I do all those. 
Do you? Three times a week. Do you feel that since you've done yoga, you've had better sex? Well, I think, I think, I think what's missing from that is that when you just connect more with yourself and give yourself the time, yeah, definitely. I definitely, because I feel more at peace with myself. Right. I feel less dysmorphic through yoga. So, yeah, I think it's like anything. Is if you eat well, if you take sunshine, if you go for a walk, if you do any of these things where you care for yourself, you will be more turned on. But is it about you caring for yourself or is, it, is the other person bringing something to the kind of party? No, 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 no. You always want to come in on the wrong bits. Taking care of yourself is of yourself by yourself, which then makes you a Come more in. open partner yeah. than when you're having sex. But no, the taking care is taking care. So you care. having... What about men? No, are you having the best sex of your life? Shut up. Are you? Right. Say yes or no. Also, do 30 minutes of cardio, this is for men, thank God, in 45 to 90 second bursts to boost arousal. That's what I do in a hip, hip mm-hmm. workout. Uh, That's so why I always end German, with a great German. big erection. German researchers found that three minutes of strength work holding oh. onto a testing device as hard as possible was enough to jumpstart the sympathetic nervous system and system and increase arousability to sexual stimuli immediately afterwards. Hang on. So they were tested to holding a strength pose. They had to hold it really tight for three minutes. They're everything, arousal, everything. Now let me tell you how they found this out. The Germans. So, <clears throat> The men in the study experienced a faster heart rate and pupil dilation when what? Guess. They let go. No. When they were shown sexual images. Well, yeah, that's more the sexual images than holding onto a pole. No. Then they showed more energy, or sexual energy in the people oh, that were. Oh, I thought holding they were holding a pole. a pole and then no. they, really tightly, and then no. they looked at sexual imagery. So they were. If, so they did, but the, the men that weren't holding a pole tightly and looking at the sexual image, their pupils didn't dilate. Why did they your didn't hand go to erection? your crutch as you demonstrated sexual pole? I don't know, um, but yeah, so there you go. Can we do that? I test? don't really know what the conclusion. Can we do that test? Okay, well, Ruth's final suggestion: if you're feeling flexible and strong and you're having the best sex of your life, she says we should try, and I think we should try this now. So I think we should, and you should try this at home. We should try something called the Yab Yum. Have you heard of it? No. The yab yum is where the larger person sits cross-legged. So I'll be sat cross-legged on the floor. You will sit on top straddling with your ankles crossed behind my back. So it's like, yeah, so I'm cross-legged. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With back straight, allow your forehead to touch. Breathe deeply and slowly, synchronising our breath and gazing into each other's we'll eyes. We'll be pissing ourselves laughing. We have to do this. We'll be farting. We're going to do... Well, you will... Hang on a minute. Do not. He who hath not sinned, do not Careful. cast the first stone. You Careful. are a farter, Mark. Not in you the are bedroom. A big. F- Careful. I'm not a farter in the bedroom. Careful. Mark, sometimes your farts wake me up. Careful. Careful. Don't start carefully careful, me, careful. because I can easily I get can this and put it, run it under the tap, this, this Then you'll camera. lose your phone, and that's a ludicrous okay, sacrifice. Okay, well, I'll run yours under the tap. Well, there'll still be the sound, because I've got it in my computer. <laughs> I want to do the yab yum. Right, we'll do the yab yum, darling. But you might regret it. Itchy teeth. So is this whilst during intercourse? Well, that's a funny thing, isn't it? It says, um, no, it's not. <laughs> this, is, this, this is kind of off the back of tantric, which I... Oh, I mean, tantric. It's a, tantric is so tedious because you don't do touch. You know what? I think we should do a podcast on tantric. What is because it? All of us only we? think of Sting doing sex for well, seven hours. Well, in fact, they hours. mentioned Trudy Styler so here. We go, so we all go, oh, God. But maybe it's not that. Maybe we should do tantric. I think it's deep breathing. Why don't we go to a tantric class? Well, we'll have to be no, in a tent. You don't have to bring in any... You don't have to mop anything up. I, mean, do I you think actually, you have to be in a wigwam. Do you actually orgasm when you do tantric I think sex? you have to be in a wigwam. I think you have to be with other people. I think there's a risk that you could hear grunting and moaning and undulating. OK. Well, Maybe we could just do the first half hour and then say okay. we've got a stomach complaint and leave. Well, one of the other things that she does say here is at the end of a workout together, which in and of itself can be quite, quite arousal, arousing, don't pick up your phone between exercise, showering and sex. Finish your exercise, go home and shag each other senseless. That's just what it says. What, why, where were you when you were sitting on each other? 
No, no, no. This is it when you've come out of the gym or when you've done any kind of exercise oh. together. Wait till you get Don't home. go on your phone. Okay. So, <laughs> yoga... Yoga? ...has been proved effective at working on the male, male pelvic floor. And also, the you know, it's not just the pelvic floor, it's the mind, body, spirit. So you feel more at one with each other, more able to Undulating throughout your spirit. Um, so it's... it's they have found that the practice improves performance, erection, and appears to be a feasible, safe, effective, acceptable, non-pharmacological op option for premature ejaculation. All those words are deeply unsexual. If you've got premature ejaculation, try all of this. Now... Try what? Mula banda. Ooh. This is a bit, uh, this is a bit like yum yam. I know what the mula banda is. Rum so the yoga practice of drawing the root chakra... So it's the perineum, Ooh. the bit between your vagina or yes, your bollocks and that your bum bum. All right. And pulling it upwards and inwards and you work your pelvic floor muscles, the mula bandha. You... So like whenever you're sitting in yoga, you try and do the mula bandha. That, you know what? There's a phrase in Nepal called being mula And apparently, no, no, there is. And apparently there's a case of some guy whose perineum ended up on his head. There we go. <laughs> right. To do this, also, you can lie on your tummy... Right. This is the bow pose. This the, the bow pose strengthens the back as well as the pelvic muscles. Well, back strength. So you lie in your stomach, right, mm -hmm. and you put your feet up behind you, and then you get hold of your feet, oh, I can't. and you do That's this. Hard. No, but you'll get there if you do it. You have to just. Keep well, so the woman does that whilst you're having sex. With no, her. no. This is just oh. to strengthen your pelvis. But she could. In fact, I think that's happened. And then you lift your thighs off the mat and press your shins away from you as you lift your chest up. Now, there's a, this is in bold and in capitals. That's quite serious. Endurance cycling can sap libido. And it crushes your testes. There you go. You've got to be careful. Cycling is a really difficult one for men. But she says it's actually very, very good for women and cardiovascular. I hate but, it. I but for men, it. it really damages the base of your balls. Craig Cooper says... He has a Goldilocks rule. Now listen to this, mm. boys. For cardiovascular activity, too little and you won't reap the immeasurable benefits. But too, too much... Of what? And... Uh, oh, hang on a minute. I've lost myself Too here. much of what? Just right. too much sex? 70... So this was a test done on 78 sedentary men. He found that 60 minutes of exercise a day, on average, three and a half days a week for nine months, improved their frequency of sex, erectile function, and numbering a number of satisfying orgasms. Yeah, I'm trying to work out what an unsatisfying orgasm is. But, uh, just dies off. Well, hang on a minute. It's not just about sound. I mean, an orgasm is an org I mean, an un yeah, I suppose you can have an unsatisfying I'm, I'm orgasm. I'm not about sound. I was giving this sound to give you the picture. Thank you. So, but this is important. If you do too much of that kind of exercise, right. your hormone levels will deplete. You've got lost in your dossier, babe. You've got tied into okay, this so language. This is it. I can't There's a relate certain to it. Okay, three times a week, what we know, da da da, good. What? You'll get the benefits of cardiovascular. Right. Right? Three and a half days a week, but, 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 roughly. If you do too much, your hormone levels will deplete, resulting in something called REDS syndrome, where sufferers have low testosterone as a result of excessive exercise. Now, oh my God. maybe this is a, like that rumour that you hear about really like muscly men and problems. Is, is there this rumour? Yeah. Oh. Now, a marathon runner is a surefire way to decrease your natural sexual performance. Wow. Long distance cycling is another. It's okay so to do light runs, but you do not want to do any form of super long endurance training for your sex life. So basically, too much exercise can be bad for you. It seems to be endurance. Too much, in, well, yeah. Like long term, like right, lots okay. of running. And apparently there is something called the fourth eye, isn't there? You've got the two eye, you've got the third eye. Oh god, what's And then you've got say? the fourth right, eye. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been lovely spending time with you. I'm sure we will try to do a different topic next week and then Mark will lead us back to some new sexual something. Yeah. So um lots of love to all of you. Please get your mulabundas going. I want to go and, and do a yabyam. Forget... <laughs> Let's get a rub ram. Is it a um, rub ram or a, a yabyam? Rub please, please, if you've enjoyed this podcast. Like it, share it, follow us. It really helps. And you know what? We put 
ourselves on the line every week by what we share here. So it would be really nice if you helped us by sharing this free podcast. Uh, if you want to see us, um, just go over to the Sawala Adelies on YouTube and you will find us there. Hit the subscribe button and it um, doesn't cost you anything again. And there's loads of content. Love you lots. Bye. Um. <laughs>